Two sets in the books in this De La Salle University and Far Eastern University matchup. FPU equalizing here as we take a look at the set two highlights. De La Salle now tying this match one and one. Or FPU tying this match one and one. Labrador now getting into the picture. The scoring picture, obviously, he had a lot of good attack. Also, good blocks from FPU. Uh, itong uh, De La Salle, no, wala yung control nila sa tempo ng game. Eh. It was actually FEU having better control of their offense. Also, their defense picked up. And uh, that that's what led to this FEU win. Also, FEU able to separate themselves by a huge mar march in midway in the set. So, nahirapang makahabol ang De La Salle. Also, reception problems. Hounding De La Salle, sabi nga ni Coach Sami kanina, you're not giving it your all. Your... Uh, your efforts are half day kaya hindi mo pwedeng bigyan ng ganyang uh, effort ang FEU. That's why they're the number one team. They play very good defense. They read your offense very well and you can't really go up for those open hits all the time. You have to give out combination plays. The attacking department were tied at 11 apiece. Ito, nag-improve ng De La Salle. Remember, they were 4-0 and earlier. Now, it's 3-3. Three and three. Service aces, 0. Oh, uh, no, no service aces for either team. On force errors, 11 and 5. That's the biggest factor right there for uh, the second set. Errors. You said it. De La Salle. De La Salle University committed 9 errors in the first set. Second set, really killing themselves with 11 errors. They can't afford to have that many yeah. here in this crucial that's third right, set. They right. do not want to go down two sets to one against this very experienced FEU team. That's right. And remember, those errors, some of them, yung mga hindi nila na, nakuha, no? Dahil nagkatinginan lang sila. So, lack of communication in that second set for De La Salle. We're glad you could join us. Hello to everybody watching on Studio 23. LaSalle committing another service error. This is brought to you by ABS-CBN Sports. I'm Anton Rojas, joined by Doc Ian Laurel. Winner of this game advances to mm -hmm. the finals to go up against the four-time champions, University of Santo Tomas. Saw a while ago, Jason Ramos, team captain of UST, already scouting yeah. and awaiting their uh, opponents. Of course, UST uh, defeated Adamson in their series. And UST having a great game against Adamson. Four players in double digits. And Ramos only had six points actually in that uh, game. But what really mattered for UST was that they played as a team. Despite losing the first set, mm -hmm. able to sweep the remaining three sets of that game. Antonio, the combination. Scary fall there by Labrador. But he's okay. By Tarin with some excellent serves. And uh, again, tong errors na naman. De La Salle already had a service error, two reception errors. So these points of FEU actually coming from errors of uh, De La Salle. La Salle continuing to have some problems. Yeah, taking care of their unforced errors. Yes, that's true. Once again, we're having a tight start here in this set number three. John Kevin De La Vega serving it up for FEU. De Ocampo setting it up with one hand. Wow, for FEU. Anton, it's been all attacking errors. They've had three already going to the outside. And um, they're missing the lines, they're missing the corners, and the blocking of De La Salle uh, is also gauging uh, them pretty well. No, binibitawan din nila pag alam nilang malayo yung bola. Labrador! Not this time though, from Labrador. This is right on the money. Against a double block, I don't know how he did it, but he got it through. Labrador, there's really a, not much you can do against him. Very tall, athletic player. Kirk Beliran coming to life once again after being silenced in the second set. Again, targeting the outside arm of the blocker. Avila. 
Dug up there by De La Vega. Antonio! <laughs> it's, it's a one-on-one -on -one between Beliran and Antonio. Antonio looking at Beliran after talagang dinala niya dun yung bola. Kinabing, look at him. Stare down. <laughs> Beliran. <laughs> well, let the taunting begin. Mm -hmm. This uh, third set. Oh, oh man. Uh, Antonio. He, yeah. I think that's his third for the for the game. And Coach Sammy, unhappy with that one. That's what you get for taunting. <laughs> <laughs> your adrenaline gets so pumped up, and it's your turn to serve. <laughs> you send it long. Your focus levels go haywire. <laughs> oh, that's an excellent serve. Very sharp one. Casanova could not handle it. De La Calzada with that sharp serve. serve. A lot of these players from FEU sick and tired of finishing behind UST actually. Mm -hmm. They would like to once again recapture the men's volleyball crown. Antonio. Being a back row player, not allowed to step or cross the line, gets called for that violation. FU on top by three, don't go away, keep it right here on Studio 23. Take a look at this last mm. play here. So this is why LaSalle was called for a fault. That's right. Antonio, like what I said, being a back row player, not allowed to step or cross the line. And uh, clearly, that's what he did. FEU, I was observing them during the break and the very animated huddle they had. They know that they have a great opportunity here to Try and build a huge lead. Labrador. Just finding the open spot. Easy does it for him. Going off speed. Remember what happened in the second set. FU able to separate themselves early on. Establishing a big lead. And that kept De La Salle at bay. No? Talagang di na nakahabol. Ang Green Archers. Oh! Oh, this one is in. Okay. And with a little luck, FEU able to build a five-point advantage after that service ace by De La Calzada. He's been doing it all. De La Calzada from the service area has given uh, FEU this five-point lead. Substitution made by Coach Sammy Akailar. Aaron Calderon in the game. Made quite an impact actually in the first matchup between these two teams in the final four that time. Christensen able to spike it hard and down. Aaron Calderon to serve for Dallas. Coach Sami trying to search for a combination and that's uh, Aaron Calderon sending it into the net. Well, LaSalle's problem in the first round was that when they would go down by a huge margin, they would just give up and then their body language would change quickly. Second round, they managed to overcome that. They would be able to come back from huge deficits, but the final four is a yeah. different story. And let's yeah. see if Nassau can do it once again. Red Christensen, serving. Nassau showing a lot of maturity in the second round, but this is another test for them. As Kirk Beneran. This is how he played in that first set. He does not want this to be his last game in the UAAP. He nice wants to go back to the finals mm -hmm. and try to help his team recapture 
the men's volleyball crown, but Beniran with a service error. <laughs> Still pumped up after that play. <laughs> Still brought the energy back to the service area. Brendan Joseph Santos. Santos. For Brendan Joseph Santos for La Salle. Petrus Del Campo, Labrador, he likes that spot from the back row. That's, right, that's his favorite spot right there. I think he even likes it better than a front row attack. Look at Labrador just get ready for this one. He has a lot of room to work with. He has all that space to uh, send that ball to. De La Vega, he's got to come alive for LaSalle. He had an excellent first set. Wow, this guy can really hit it. Hit it despite the shoulder with that sleeve. Again, he injured it right before the start of the season. And what's amazing is that De La Vega, I think, is the shortest player on the De La Salle uh, uh, team. But he just packs up a mean spike. He's a high flyer as well. Here he is once again, De La Vega. Oh, that one. Going straight to the net. That was into the net. And he just looks away because he knew that was, he was going to get it from the entire FEU team. <laughs> and now De Ocampo gets called because he was the one actually taunting De La Vega. Yeah, and he came from the back row to taunt De La Vega. He was not actually part of the play. Yeah. <laughs> and he gets called by first referee Lumar Pajarillo. <laughs> oh! Oh! That is a mortal sin when you have Labrador in the front row. This is actually how De La Salle started this third set with a lot of reception errors and they haven't adjusted or they haven't, uh, you know, gotten their reception going. Look at the score. It's now a six-point lead. This is huge right now for FU. Another. And again, Labrador with a gift. And the FU players are pumped right now because they have built a seven-point advantage. Well, we have the very hard-working Athletic Director of FEU, Mark Molina. See, uh, Mark always here to support the FEU team. 